two women are behind bars for assaulting and robbing a 39-year-old trucker while he slept in a tractor trailer. At around 2am on Saturday the 25th of May, authorities responded to 2124 Half North Broadwell Avenue in Grand Island, Nebraska to investigate the report of a robbery. When police arrived, the victim told officers that he was sleeping in a tractor trailer behind 208 West 5th Street when four people entered the trailer and held him down and assaulted him. Authorities said that 26-year-old Latifa Root and 24-year-old Sierra Lovejoy, along with two men, stole the 39-year-old man's phone, worth $300 and a wallet containing debit cards and $25 cash. At around 11.55pm on Sunday the 26th of May, officers made contact with Latifa and Sierra near 3rd and Eddy Streets and were taken into custody. While speaking with Latifa, she mentioned details of the robbery and later admitted to being involved in a physical altercation with the victim. She said that during the altercation, she held the victim down to avoid being struck, but stated during this time Sierra and another man took the victim's phone. Latifa denied being involved in taking any items from the trailer. Sierra admitted to investigators to being with Latifa during this incident, but denied ever entering the trailer. She said that Latifa told her after she exited the trailer that she had taken the victim's phone. Both women were booked into the Hall County Jail and charged with robbery. The bonds were set at $50,000 each. Investigators are still looking for the two male suspects. Captain Dean Elliott of the Grand Island Police Department said they have the name of one of the men and the nickname of the other, but said they believe they know who that person is as well. Authorities said that the stolen property has not been recovered. The investigation into the matter continues. A 34-year-old Ohio man is accused of using a cattle prod to discipline his children. Erie County Sheriff Paul Sigsworth said the investigation began after one of the children reported the incident at school. On Friday the 17th of May, a grand jury indicted Robert Borres on three counts of domestic violence and three counts of endangering children after subjecting his three children to cruel and excessive corporal punishments between the 1st of February and the 12th of March. Prosecutors said that Robert used corporal punishment such as restraining his three children aged 7, 8 and 10 in a cruel manner for a long period of time, which resulted in discipline that was excessive under the circumstances and created a substantial risk of physical harm. On the night of the 13th of March, Robert was arrested at his home in the area of Edison Highway in Florence Township, Ohio, after using the cattle prod on his children. Robert was released from jail after posting a $90,000 bond. He was ordered to not have contact with the victims, and he was not allowed to consume alcoholic beverages, possess any firearms, and must wear a GPS monitor. Sheriff Sigsworth said the cattle prob was taken as evidence from the home. He said this device is probably a pole three feet long with two probes on either end. It has a button, and when you push the button, it delivers a shot between the two probes. Robert did make some admissions to using that instrument to discipline his children. He added, it's terrible. I don't know what would compel someone to think they could use a device like this with kids. I'm kind of bewildered, really, that someone would think that this would be appropriate, he said. He said that Robert does not have any cattle on his property, just ducks and chickens. Robert has previously been arrested four times for domestic violence and was also charged with endangering children back in June of 2021. Sheriff Sigsworth said that the children are okay and have been cared for by a relative. The investigation into the matter continues.